Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. We are doing a follow-up video of how to get a wound weed whacker spool back on the machine. We wound a spool. We didn't wind it real full. We've got these two ears we can put the line in to hold the line as we assemble it. But sometimes, especially on this one, if you just wiggle a little bit, the line falls out. And now when you go to put it on, we're going to have a chocolate mess. So here's the trick. Some spools, I guess, don't even have keepers. What this unit has is a keeper or a slot that I can pull the line into, and it generally holds it. But if you wiggle, this is an older machine, if you wiggle it, or as you're putting it on, it's going to fall off, it's going to unspool and make a mess on me. Mind you, I wound these two lines in the same direction with the arrow on the bottom of the spool. So here's my tricks. I hold these two lines in the keepers with one hand. I feed the two lines into the spool with a little extra material, because I need extra material for this case. So I get them both in here. So now I can grab both lines at once and keep tension on them. So I'm pulling on the line. See that? Then I take this and I line up the spool with the notches and I'm pulling the lines as I snap it in. And then I lock it in place and there you have it. So as I call it, you have to Houdini the spool onto the reel. So you have to hold them with one hand but I guess the trick is, is to put extra line. I'm wasted a foot of line. Who cares? It's two cents. Waste the line, make it easy to get the spool line. I'll take my nippers, I'll cut them. So that's the secret to getting the spool back on. Leave extra line, hold it with your fingers, feed it through the holes, snap it in place. Voila, you finished your job.